Hello, this is Gregory Douglas, executive producer of Escape Puerto Rico. You are tuned into History of Black Gay America. viewing audience and welcome to another winter edition of our National Black LGBT subsidiary online news series, History of Black Gay America, where we encourage you to know your history and know your heritage. We're actually operating from the Atlanta chapter as we speak. Of course, I'm your host, Miko Evans, executive producer of the world's first LGBT exclusive talent agency and production company. Of course, you can check us out as always via our website, which is located at the bottom of this screen. I'm so happy <laughs> to have sitting on the side of me <laughs> the brainchild behind the upcoming new getaway and adventure, Escape Puerto Rico, which is coming soon, Memorial Day weekend. Mr. Greg Douglas is in the building. How are you, brother? Good. Thank you so much for having me. Man, thank you so much for giving us this exclusive. Oh, my pleasure. My pleasure. My pleasure. Man, uh, let's get to it, man, because I have so many questions to ask you, and of course, uh, you know, of course, everybody out there want to know, mm -hmm. what was the inspiration behind creating Escape Puerto Rico? Um, Escape Puerto Rico really came from a void I felt that was missing in the um, African American LGBT community. Mm -hmm. um, especially for professional brothers and sisters, you know, 35, 45, 55. Mm -hmm. um, the grown and sexy. The grown and sexy. <laughs> you know, individuals who may not typically go out on a regular weekend. Uh -huh. um, they may not go to traditional pride celebrations anymore, mm -hmm. but they love um, tropical international destination getaways mm -hmm. during uh, extended holiday weekends. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason Escape Puerto Rico, the LGBT Arts and Culture Music Festival was created. Mm -hmm. um, and really, a group of friends, we would travel to different areas such as Bermuda, uh, Mexico, to South Africa. And as our travel group grew, you know, it was just kind of like one of those situations, okay, where are we going to for 2016? Mm -hmm. And also, you know, what can we do that's going to be different to really bring together a great captive audience of professional LGBT Mm -hmm. um, that's the reason for Escape from Rico. Wow, man. Yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how long did it take for you all to actually develop this? Um, it took really, um, the whole concept has been in my brain, um, really, for the last five years. Wow. So, uh, it was just something where I said, you know, I am going to do it. It's mm -hmm. just a matter of time, a matter of just really the perfect location mm -hmm. and being able to have enough time to brand it over a period of time. So. Um, it's been five years in the making, mm -hmm. but overall we've been planning it for the last last, um, last six to eight months overall. Mm -hmm. So um, Memorial Day weekend in Puerto Rico, four months away. Yes, yeah, so it's, four it's months coming away. around. It's, right on it's the coming around great, man. And plus we need more creative and innovative uh, type of events, especially for the grown and sexy, because since everything is mostly catered to the next generation Absolutely. and the younger demographic, Absolutely. it's like those of us that used to Drop it like it's hot. <laughs> We're getting a little older now, right. so we kind of have to do things a little bit more maturely. Absolutely. So uh, we, but we, we, we still like to party. So this is a wonderful, wonderful outlet for us to actually just get away from everything that we are going through on a day-to-day -day basis. Exactly. This is a wonderful, wonderful getaway trip. Give us a little bit of the details about um, the activities that's Absolutely. going to be taking place. On we the have weekend. an amazing weekend schedule. Yeah. Amazing weekend. Three nights, four days in Rio Grande, Puerto Rico, yes. which is about 30 minutes from the uh, from San Juan, mm -hmm. the San Juan area. Um, imagine 15 grown and sexy events, four nights of live concerts. We're going to be doing the financial wellness workshop, the um, health and fitness boot camp. We're going to be doing the in the spirit gospel brunch, mm -hmm. um, the drag queens of comedy concert series. Yeah. Um, we're going to be doing cultural excursions around the entire island of Puerto Rico. 
um, from Elionke to the Bacardi Rum Factory to Old San Juan. We're just gonna really take our guests, our travelers, all around the island so you can really experience the beauty of it all. We're also gonna be doing what's called the Vanguard Avant-Garde Avant Awards um, mm -hmm. ceremony where we're gonna be honoring um, some trailblazers, innovators, supporters um, within the LGBT community. That weekend we're gonna be honoring Angie Stone, mm. um, Cynthia Bailey from the Real Housewives of Atlanta, That's straight um, yes. Nathan Hale Williams, yes. um, James Earl Hardy, yes. um, also Big Frida. Yeah. You know, so <laughs> we have so many great celebrities coming down, so many great events taking place, cocktails and conversation poolside. We're going to be doing um, the um, a workshop on how to make the perfect um, cocktail with a master celebrity mixologist. Okay. Um, so we're gonna be doing speed dating and matchmaking mm -hmm. for, all of our, uh, for all of our professional LGBT folks that are gonna be coming down who are single and professional. Yeah. This gives you a chance to really meet some other professional LGBT professionals during the weekend as well. So you name it, 15 events, three nights, four days, just a total cultural experience, um, especially for those who have not been to Puerto Rico. It's amazing. Still mm. within the continental United States. Yes. Um, Which means you don't have to have a passport. Thank you. <laughs> no passport. Thank you. Yes. Um, so, um, a great three and a half hour flight from Atlanta, mm -hmm. three hours from New York City, you know, so it's a great quick getaway. Um, Puerto Rico is also one of the most LGBT friendliest islands in the entire mm. Caribbean. Um, a population of four million plus people. And I heard that their LGBT community down there is the bomb. Amazing. <laughs> amazing. It's beyond amazing. So, you know, if you haven't been, as a matter of fact, about 85% of the folks who have registered and will be attending have never been to Puerto Rico. Yes. Also, I'm one of them. There you go. Absolutely. <laughs> never be it, y'all. Absolutely. Um, with an exception to Cynthia from the Housewives, mm -hmm. all of our celebrities have never been also. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a great learning experience, cultural experience for all of our guests coming during that weekend. Um, we call our celebrities celebrity ambassadors because that is what they are. Yeah. You know, they are there to welcome the guests, you know, have a great time. You can walk and have a conversation, pictures, autographs. You know, it's really designed to be a very intimate weekend destination getaway. On that note, we want to take a commercial break. So please stay tuned. We encourage you to know your history and know your heritage right here on History of Black Gay America. We'll be right back. friend 